Hey guys, for this one what you're going to need is three sensor reactors. So just place one here and connect it up to the bottom half of your sensor reactor from the thermoelectric plant. Then take the top half of the sensor reactor and connect it up to the top half of the, of the bottom sensor reactor. And then connect the bottom half up to the cargo freighter and the top half up to the top sensor reactor. And then the top half of that sensor reactor is connected to the cargo freighter and connect the bottom part of the first sensor reactor up to the bottom part of the top sensor reactor. Then double click the first sensor reactor to go inside of it. Start with the red line which goes off to the left for a sink, then left for a grab and up and to the right to drop and down to an out which is the fork out and left to start again. Then for the blue line you go start off to the left for an NB up to a grab, up and to the right and up to a sink, then right to drop, right and down back into start. And then you've got the optional S, so you need to make sure that you put your sensor below it so that when the S shows up, it'll hit it, which is the HSH one. And then that goes off to the right, and you've got your bonders there, and negative bond, and then you go right to drop, down to grab, down to drop, left to an out, which is a circle out, and left back into start. For the top sensor reactor, just double click it to go inside, and you start off the red, which goes left for a grab, or in A, then grab. Then down and to the right for drop, up through an A and left and down for grab and to the right where you've got your bonders so where you've got drop. Then to the right for your positive bond, right to the NB, down to a positive bond, left for the NB, left for an NB, left to grab, down and to the right for a sink. Then up for your positive bonds and to the left for a sink, left to drop, up, right, and then up again where you've got your sensor and you have a sink, and then left to start. Uh, for the blue line, you start off to going to the left, which goes to the sink, for your positive bond, then to grab drop, down to your counterclockwise rotations, up to drop, for the grab drop, up to an A, left through the grab, down right through the drop, up and left through to an A, then up through the grab to the positive bond, then right and down to sink, then left and up through the positive bond and to the right to the drop, then down to the out, which is the fork out and left to sink, then left to back and to start. For your bottom sensor reactor, you got your red line which goes start to off to the left for an NA, then left to grab, then down and to the right to a grab, then right and up to drop, and then up to the out which is a fork out, and then left to an out which is a circle out, then down, right, back up, left for the drop to the fork out and back in the start, and you've also got your bonders placed along here, so the reason why we do the blue line where we've got start going off the left to a negative bond but there's nothing that actually connects on the blue line is basically we just want to activate the negative bond while the pieces or the atoms or whatever they're meant to be are on top of our bonders. So then it's so quick that it just keeps on doing it pretty much any time they're on there. So that's the main reason why we do it. 